Depending on what we're putting in it, it'll smell one way or the other. Urine, by the way, if you haven't had anything fancy, has a sort of a nutty smell to it. And that sort of tastes like that too. The woman Mehmet Oz is speaking to there is blinking profusely, probably because she is horrified by what she's hearing. Does Dr. Oz have personal experience with consuming urine? Is it palatable for him? Well, it turns out yes, yes, he has experience and he openly talked about it while being interviewed with Jimmy Kimmel. Now, this is an interview from October of 2009, but since Oz is running against John Fetterman for a Senate seat in Pennsylvania, it has reemerged and people are talking about it. So, during the conversation, <laughs> Kimmel went on to ask Dr. Oz more about P, and it gets really weird. So, buckle up. Oz elaborated in his interview with Kimmel, saying that urine can be helpful. To diagnose various illnesses and conditions, true, true. A diabetic's urine tastes like wine, cherry wine, Oz told a bewildered Kimmel. How do you know how it tastes? Who's tasting it, Kimmel asked. You gotta do it in med school, you do, Oz responded. Um, do you, do you really? <laughs> No, you don't. Correct answer is every doctor in America right now is screaming, no, you don't. No, you don't. He made that up. I don't know why he made that up, but he made it up. Uh, I have a guess as to why he made it up. Anyway, if I was talking to Dr. Oz, I'd tell him, you're in trouble. Um, okay, <laughs> anyways, so look, going back and getting old tapes of him talking about poop, uh, we talked about that on the show last week, and the sex tapes. It's a little bit of a, I give him a pardon on that. Like he's doing a different kind of show, now you're using that against him. They kind of did that to Al Franken, who was a Democrat and he was a comic, and so they used the comic material that was kind of raunchy against them. So that's not that in interesting to me, right? And that's not that fair to me. But this is this is different, because this, this dude's definitely into drinking urine. <laughs> I mean, he said it on multiple times, and he's doing it in a way that where he's like a sommelier of, if I'm pronouncing that right, and I don't know anything about wine, so I'm probably not, of, of urine, right? And he's like, ooh, a little cherry flavor, oak to that. Jesus, how much urine did you taste? <laughs> that you oh, know? God. Right? Yeah, he's like differentiating between a diabetic's urine and then like the clip we showed you, he's talking about nutty tasting urine. It's just, by the way, it's. I want to be open and accepting of people and I don't want people to feel kink shame because I know that like urine consumption is a kink. Like I know that there's a thing out there. And so I feel like by dunking on Dr. Oz, there's like a whole community of people who have done nothing wrong and we're like, you know, making them feel bad. Go on with your bad self. I mean, it ain't for me, you know? I'm not into it, but you know. The thing about this story though is like the like ridiculous lie about doctors having to taste urine in medical school as if they're like on a wine tasting trip. Like it's just part of the curriculum and it's just not true. And so either he got punked and like someone convinced him to try urine and convinced him that it was part of medical school and he's embarrassed about it or uh, he's just into drinking urine, which like to each his own. Like again, it's not for me; it's for other people. Like Dr. Oz, apparently. Yeah. Um, so he, I'm going to read you more quotes, and then I've got more <laughs> thoughts on whether he got punked or if it's a kink. Uh, let's go to graphic uh, five. Um, during an interview with Kimmel, Oz explained that his fascination with urine began earlier than medical school. "Quote: When I was a kid, I was so excited about the human body." Oz told Kimmel, when you lost something that came out of you, you want to know what's going on, where it comes from, what's going on. I asked, I asked questions, I touch. Oh boy. And then he adds, I was a bad boy. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. I, I think that by the way, like you drink the liquid and then you urinate. Like it wasn't that hard. Like I figured it out. Yeah, I didn't need it, to touch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't complicated enough where you were like, 
Now wait, oh, this, this I haven't solved this mystery yet. Okay, this is not a Nancy Drew story, right? You're like, wait, wait, I know. If I just drink it, then that'll help solve it. Uh, actually, it won't at all. Uh, and so, um, but it, he's a bad, bad boy, naughty by nature. OPP, totally different meaning now. Um, but anyway, that that lady in the first clip is the country. Because you could tell, like she's on TV, she's excited, it's the, the Oz show, and then he starts talking about DCB, and she's like, look, look at her. Like she's like, no, no, this is deeply <laughs> like, what, disturbing. What is he saying? Yeah, what, what is he saying? Why is he saying this? Why is he saying this? I'm really bothered by this. I really wish I wasn't here. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so now let me solve it. Is it, did he get punked? Let me and, solve it. Yeah. Did he get punked in medical school or? Uh, does he have a fetish? I think it's fetish. So number one, he talks about, oh no, 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 before medical school too. And apparently, <laughs> okay, all right, I, dude, you're really, really into it. Um, but he said in that first clip with the woman that uh, it tastes like X, Y, Z if you haven't had something fancy to eat. Now he's always eating things that are fancy like crudite, de tay, right? Him and his Which wife eat fancy stuff all the time. So that wouldn't have anything to do with medical school or before medical school. No, he's. it appears based on what he's saying that he's tried several different types of urine after eating several different types of things, including the type of things he and his wife would eat. I really hope that that crudite did not include asparagus. Like, oh, 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 oh. oh. Like I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Like we got to get off it. We got to get off it. Yeah, we like, no get off king it. shaming, no king shaming. No, it's really, fine. But it's fine. But it's is it? Uh, <laughs> it Jimmy Kimmel ended the, that interview with saying, "I have to say, you must be one of the craziest people we've ever had on the show." <laughs> that is your Republican it's candidate really for Senate in Pennsylvania. <laughs> exactly. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.